All right, welcome back, fish fans. We're looking today at Wendy's. Um, not really known for their fish sandwiches. Actually, we went through the drive-through. It wasn't even on the menu screen. It was on this cardboard. They, they like slapped this extra cardboard sign at the bottom. We're like, by the way, we got fish. Nobody cares, but we have it. Um, we cared, mm -hmm. and we got it. We're making an amendment from the last time to give the fries a fair chance. We're starting with fries. Okay, let me do that. Before they go cold, we're take, doing doing fry test here. So, a couple fries each. All right. I'm being picky with mine. I want a nice, long, skinny one. Not as good as the fries one you used to have. The old, the old steak fry ones. And then they changed years ago. Now I guess it's been these natural cut things. They're not bad. They're not that great. You better hope that they salt them well. Otherwise, they're just they taste like sand. They're dry. Which this batch not salted that great. Mm -mm. Um, they're trying maybe a little too hard fries to get them out of the way they are hot so I'll give them that but I'm going at six well you're higher than me I was thinking of five because they're not bad tasting they're not bad tasting but I like the shape I like that they are skinny and soft, still fried, but not crunchy, but they're, yeah, they're kind not of hard. lackluster. They're not hard or anything. Yeah. Do you want to get your phone so we can keep track? So I gave a six, you gave a five. That gives a 5.5 .5 for fries. So Wendy's isn't winning any points there. Um, there's a calculator. Oh. All right. Five point five. Yeah. Okay. On to fish. So, like the fillet of fish, it's not real big. That was a thought I had after we finished that. Was can can this be gotten? While it's on the menu as a meal, does it actually fill you up? And I maybe should have taken some points off for the filet of fish. It is very, very good, but it's also pretty tiny for a meal sandwich. These ones also, well, now that I'm picking it up, it's got, it's got some heft to it. This is probably the weight of two filet of fish. Although, again, we've got a nice soft bun. I'm mm. thinking probably steamed again. We're looking at a nice square piece of fish, uh -oh. some cheese, uh -oh. tartar sauce, and we're looking at some pickles here this time. I'm not a pickle fan. Hot pickles is not something I care for, but that's a personal preference. Yeah. I am going to do the same treatment where I put tartar sauce on both sides of my filet of fish, um, fish sandwich. It boggles my mind. But if you enjoy it, then I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not, not going to deter you. Even coating of sauce. And neither am I a fan of, I like pickles. We both like pickles, but cold pickles. Mm -hmm. Hot pickles, it's suddenly a weird thing. I don't know why, but it'd be like cold soup. Cold soup's weird. Cold soup is also a thing, but cold soup is weird. But to be fair to the sandwich, it comes with pickles. We don't make special orders when we go through, so a pickle bite it will be. Yes, All yes, right. yes. I'm making sure I get a bite with the pickle just so I get the full experience. And I guess as far as fish sandwich goes, a pickle on a fish sandwich seems pretty normal to me. Oh, filet of fish doesn't have it, but tartars, well, I'm, it doesn't, it's, it's not, it's not off. It doesn't seem strange. I personally like the cheese. 
cheese on my fish sandwich. It's good. Tartar sauce. Mm. Well, let me take a second bite. I'm a bit surprised because I'm not hating the pickles. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Um, cheese is nice. Cheese has a nice creamy touch to it. Fish again is flaky. This does have a little more crunch than the filet of fish did. It's still not a nice crispy piece of baked fish. It's still sort of soft and I don't know, maybe that's a fast food thing that we'll find out. I'm gonna get to compare some more fish sandwiches. Okay, so. Tartar sauce, also not bad. It's, there's plenty on there, not too much. Like I said, not hating the pickles. Mm -hmm. I feel like on tartar sauce, line of thought, the pickles being, I guess you would call it like that dill taste. Mm -hmm. It's that same flavoring. And having extra yeah. crunchiness, the extra pickles inside, along with the harder, crunchier fish, fried fish layer. How do you feel the inside of the fish sandwiches? The flakiness of the fish? The fish tastes what good. You... This actually, you guys, this is bite three. You're going too far. <laughs> Mid bite, too late. Um, it's yeah, pickles. It adds an extra, an extra layer of um, texture. Um, fish is nice and flaky, like I said. So maybe the pickles are helping with the crunch that I'm not getting from the fish. It's giving me something extra that I'm sort of missing. Flavor, like I said, it's it's pretty good. Surprisingly, I I was expecting to take my couple bites and then maybe pick them off but i may just finish the sandwich with it on yeah as is as ordered mm -hmm. um you have a number yet or you're still debating i'm going to go with an eight mm. not as good as the filet of fish filet of fish is just the steam feels like they steamed the whole sandwich and it's just it is so nice and soft, and I know I'm just complaining about crunchiness, but for a f fast food fish sandwich, filet of fish is, it's in my mind, sort of the classic. Yeah. This isn't, this is, this is a close, close behind here right now, but what mm. are you thinking? I, my rating was an eight. Not to be swayed by you, that's genuinely what I had wanted to rate the sandwich overall. So Don't also an eight. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know what I just did. Wow. My math is, is terrible here. Even with a calculator. I know. So you had. 5.5. Plus we're just going to average the eight. Mm -hmm. We're looking at a six. 0.75 total meal for Wendy's. Lower than McDonald's, but McDonald's has been doing a fish sandwich for a mighty long time. Wendy's is a little newer to the game. They're not losing out. The problem is messing with the fries. Mm -hmm. And fries drop the score. And the saltiness. I understand you could always add more salt and you can't take it off, but. When you're going through a drive through and you're getting fast food fries, I, I this definitely did not have anywhere near enough salt. Yeah, and the problem is, is in order for the salt to work on fries, they have to be hot. Take them out of the fryer, you salt them then so the salt sticks to them. If you try adding salt to french fries after the fact, you've just got fries and salt, not salted fries. Mm. So, fries are dropping Wendy's score. If you're looking for a meal there, Maybe just stick to the fish sandwich. Yeah. Maybe get yourself, maybe get a baked potato and chili instead of the french fries. Maybe you're winning better there. But 6.75 Wendy's fish meal. It's all right. I would I would eat the sandwich again. The fries sort of take them or leave them. Yeah. Last well, thoughts. Um, I'm... To be honest, I don't think I've ever actually eaten 
the fish sandwich at Wendy's. This is a first for so, me. So, <laughs> um, completely different from our last sandwich. Yeah. So, that would be my final thoughts. All right. Um, join us in a couple days. We'll be hitting another place. Um, we don't know where we're going yet, so you'll be just as surprised as we are whenever the next episode comes out. But thank you for watching. Yeah.